So in the swimming world this past week, there's been some big developments around backstroke. So to give you some history on the backstroke finish, according to the rules prior to this week, there was no specificity around the finish itself. So the rules were interpreted to fit the finish, um, which led to two different styles of backstroke finishes that we predominantly saw. One of them is called a lean back finish, where a swimmer stays on the surface of the water and they just lean back with one of their arms and they touch the wall. And the other finish, I called it a drop back finish because the swimmer actually drops under the surface of the water. But according to those rules, which once again were not written for finishes, you weren't allowed to be fully submerged. So to get around this rule, which was really there for underwater dolphin kicking to the 15 meter mark, swimmers decided to let an arm out or let a leg out, some part of their body out of the water as they drop back. So it technically wasn't a DQ because then the body wasn't fully submerged. But earlier this week, World Aquatics, which is the new name for FINA, added some verbiage to backstroke around the backstroke finish. And what it says is a swimmer, as long as their head passes the five meter mark or the five yard mark um, going into the wall, they can be fully submerged on their finish. There's a lot of coaches out there that are arguing on whether this will be faster or slower. And I think you have a lot of factors to deal with, like a swimmer's average velocity on the surface of the water, their ability to underwater dolphin kick well, and then also to transfer that speed that they have on the surface to that totally resistance environment underneath the surface of the water that you're going to have to play with to see if this style of finish, a truly submerged backstroke finish, would be faster for your swimmers. So things are about to get really interesting. We're about to see an array of different styles of backstroke finishes. But it's definitely an exciting time for swimming um, because they haven't really added some new rules um, besides the breaststroke pullout um, manipulations of the rules for a while. So I'm excited to see where this goes.